So it does look like SNDL has a new website and they said that they were going to be changing some things around. So this is very interesting to see. Hello everyone and welcome back. Let's talk about SNDL. I want to take a look at the charts with you. Let you know what I got here. I got the Bollinger Band. Uh, we've also got the moving averages. You could see those. This is in the day chart. We've got some volume down here in the RSI indicator just to show us that this is starting to trend back up. We are officially over the trend line for an uptrend in the daily chart. Now, this is a, a, a line that I drew in just to show you how much movement we've made since August 1st. When we said this was a buy in this zone here, we just had that reverse stock split back here on July 26th. Now it's been in an uptrend, and I want to zoom in and show you what's happening today in this 30-minute chart. We just closed our fourth green candle, and it looks like it's trying to test some resistance right here. But of course, this is just amazing because we have not even experienced the news release, and that's really typically where you see a big volatility push in the price, either up or down, but we're expecting it to go up. So if we move into the five minute chart, you could see that area here that we were meeting some resistance and it's starting to come down to find support. Now let's go into the one minute chart because I just want to show you using this Bollinger Band, you can find these resistance points each time it, it goes past this orange line, this two standard deviations, it tends to pull back. And this just was a real a real point right here that you can see where it was really about to start reversing back. I mean, nothing to be concerned with in my opinion, but also if you look at this RSI indicator, this is where you should see it start to pick back up support again. And that's what you're seeing right here. It's starting to bounce off this and come down and find support. So I expect this trend to continue, but let's continue to watch the charts. This last part is the psychological support. So we've got $3, but not only $3, I drew this green line in. But if you go back here, this was the area it got kicked back last time. So we had a little run up and this went right above $3 and went to 303. So that's what we're looking at here. We've got the sideways action. Now what happened last time, if I'm not mistaken, the last time that Zach put the uh, press release out, it, it didn't come out till much, much later in the evening. This will most likely not come out at 4 p.m. on the dot. So what could happen after hours, this could come down to even 280 if it wants to. And then, you know, after the press release comes out, you'll see that response. Now, I do want to put this in perspective. This green trend line down here has gotten support when it's dipped below it. Now, that's based on just normal trading in a blackout period. Another thing I like to do, and y'all have heard me say this before, is just look at the major indices. And all of them are trending fine. Nothing looks, you know, bad. Nothing's trending downward towards the end of the day going into the weekend. And even Bitcoin is up. I also like to look at Tilray. Now, Tilray also met some resistance here. You're basically looking for some kind of pattern, understanding when we're in a blackout period and what is actually driving the trading volume, algorithms, and just people. So, we don't have volume on our side yet. I mean, volume's up, but not significantly. We're not like 50 million or something crazy. If you were to scroll down here, I mean, it's it's been elevated in the past. You know, it's been 15, 17, 14, 22, 67. You know, of course, they're consolidating these numbers just given the number of shares now since we've had this uh, stock split. So you do have to do, you have to consider that this is actually 110 million. So it's not, this is 80 million, 50 million. So this is an elevated trading volume, but nothing that would really just be crazy moving the stock. You've got the same number of people, in my opinion, trading the stock. So here we sit. We're going to go sideways till this figures out what it wants to do. But I will say that $3 mark is a very, very important spot. Uh, but, you know, I mean, this is about to shoot up and hopefully not down uh, leading into earnings. But that's all I got.